What is LTE? LTE stands for Long-Term Evolution. In technical terms, it's a standard for high-speed cellular data communication systems based on its predecessors UMS and HSPA. It's a significant leap towards high-performance cellular data service that uses a different radio interface along with a slight core network upgrades. It's the next level of mobile communications technology. 4G developed and implemented by 3GPP, third generation partnership project, a consortium of mobile communication associations. The need for high peak data rates with significantly higher bandwidth and flexibility in frequency ultimately gave rise to a new standard of high speed mobile broadband services, LTE. It's a great upgrade from the low speed 2G standard, GSM and 3G technology, providing unmatched user experience for long term reliability owing to the next generation connectivity and significant upgrades to the original 3G technology for a more simplified architecture. The ITU are decided to officially call it as 4G LTE. The idea is to use a different radio interface as the LTE wireless interface was compatible with the 2G and 3G standards. Further, a simplified and redefined network architecture was required that could reduce transfer latency and still use some elements of the 3G architecture. This gives rise to the 4G LTE which operates more efficiently and provides much higher data rates as compared to the 3G. It offers higher speeds and better stability than the normal LTE. Theoretically, the downlink rates of LTE can peak at 300 Mbps and uplink rates at 75 Mbps. Plus, it allows for multicast and broadcast streams to tweak signal strength and improve bandwidth. In addition, it's an IP-based packet switch network that supports both IPv4 and IPv6. LTE is based on off -map orthogonal frequency division multiple access to enable higher data bandwidths while still providing high degree of resilience to interference. What is VOA LTE? There was no support for voice in LTE natively, which eventually gave rise to VOA LTE. Short for voiceover, it's a much standardized system to make HD voice calling more efficient and faster than 2G slash 3G networks over 4 It's a more advanced cellular data communication technology which allows users to send voice and data over the 4G LTE band without hampering the quality of voice. VO LTE is specifically targeted at managing and improving high-speed voice and data services over 4G LTE net. In LTE, the voice quality reduces while making voice calls with the data connection on, thus urging you to turn off the cellular data to enjoy a better voice call service. Some networks would automatically stop the data transfer process to preserve the voice quality over 2G slash 3G bands. However, the cellular data won't interfere with the voice call service in case of VOA LTE, allowing for uninterrupted voice calling services even with the data connection on. In technical terms, VOA LTE is an IMSA IP multimedia subsystem based network which supports packet switching. The data received from CDMA and GSM networks will get converted to network packets before the broadcast. Though LTE is only limited to IMS-based networks, thereby simplifying interconnectivity for better voice and data service, it allows for a plethora of services to run flawlessly rather than operating different disparate applications simultaneously. Difference between LTE and VO LTE Voice quality LTE may or may not support voice and data services at the same time without affecting the voice quality, thus making it less efficient than VO LTE networks, which on the other hand, enable faster voice call setup. Both the users will experience an uninterrupted call session if they're on VO LTE networks, resulting in seamless calls. Data connection. In LTE, the network will switch off the data connection while making voice calls, while you don't need to turn your data connection off while making a voice call in VO LTE. While LTE is targeted for increasing data rates on the 4G bandwidth, VO LTE is targeted towards both voice calling and internet data without affecting each other. Internet dependability. Internet data should be enabled at all times in order to make free calls, and it cannot be turned off. In VO LTE, on the other hand, you don't have to keep the internet data on to make free calls. Call setup time. It takes approximately 7 seconds to connect a call on 3G networks. While connecting time reduces significantly if both the users are connected on 3G networks via VoLTE. If both are on VoLTE, it's only a matter of second. External software. External software is required for you to make video calls on LTE networks such as Skype, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger. You don't need any external software to make video calls on VoLTE networks. You just need your phone number to video call anybody. There are so many acronyms associated with cellular networks with LTE and VO LTE being thrown around so much, which are often used in the context of marketing. However, both are completely different things. LTE is the next generation of mobile technology which offers high data transfer rates over 4G network. Theoretically, 
LTE supports download speed up to 100 Mbps and upload speed up to 50 MB. The terms 4G is synonymous with LTE, though LTE, on the other hand, supports both voice and data simultaneously without affecting the quality of other. Unlike the LTE, even voice calls along with web browsing are possible over Vo LTE now. It means you'll be able to make voice calls and surf web using the data plan. Vo LTE has quite an edge over its LTE counterpart on many fronts such as voice call quality, HD video calls, battery life, call setup time, and more. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.